Okay. My name is Kater Borden, spelled K-A-T-E-R-B-O-U-R-D-O-N. I'm one of the refuge rangers here at Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge. I volunteered last year with Fish and Wildlife for six months as both an interpretive volunteer and a field biologist. So I, got a, I was able to participate in a variety of activities and I'm very familiar with the projects that we're working on, we at Fish and Wildlife at Midway Atoll. And most recently I've been a emergency hire ranger for two months and have been able to work with the public quite a bit. Fish and Wildlife is protecting Midway Atoll in terms of bringing the wildlife and the people together but finding a nice balance. A good example is the critically endangered Hawaiian monk seal. In the 80s there were recorded five seals around Midway Atoll and now in the late 90s we have 65 resident monk seals and this is a critically endangered pinniped one of the few mammals in Hawaii and this, these are the only places among seals reside in are these islands in the Northwest Hawaiian Island chain. So it's a very important site to have these monk seals here. That's probably one of our, that's our most protected species that we worry about. As well as we have an endangered short-tailed albatross. We have one bird that comes back once in a while to the atoll. Midway Atoll is home to 15 different species of seabirds and we're able to work in the field one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on in the field and monitor the reproductive success as well as different varieties and ecology of their habitat. We're able to work out here. For example, Eastern Island, one of the islands you can tour, take a tour to, a ranger guided tour to, is only home to birds. No people have lived there for 30 years, close to 30 years, and it's a place where you can look right into a seaward colony and see what it's like in the wild seaward colonies. Many years of human habitation on Midway and the islands around Midway had brought in rats. There, was, there were a large population of rats here thousands of rats and five years ago the Navy along with Fish and Wildlife started a rat eradication program and we have gotten rid of all the rats. A lot of people said that we couldn't do it. Most of our, well, our islands are basically seabird colonies and rats have wiped out seabirds around the world. So we did eradicate all rats as well as Fish and Wildlife is working on restoring the island to its natural habitat. At one time, the island that we're sitting on right now had no trees. It was basically just a sand spit with low-lying shrubs or native naupaka bushes. And now if you look around us, there's a lot of ironwood trees. The ironwoods were brought in in the 1900s, turn of the century, around 1903 with the Commercial Pacific Cable Company. So what we're doing is, on Eastern, one of the islands within Midway Atoll, we're trying to restore it to its natural state by removing noxious weeds, taking down ironwood trees, and leaving it to the birds, pretty much. It's really an experiment that we're working on up here with a private co-operator, Midway Phoenix Corporation, and the U.S. Department of Interior Fish and Wildlife Service. Midway Atoll is one of the few refuges, remote refuges, that the public's invited to and open to for the first time in a, in a long time. It's also a window into the rest of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, which are closed to the public except for researchers. And it's a great experiment. It's a chance for visitors to become face-to-face -face with wildlife, whether it be the monk seal, the dolphins, seabirds. And it's also a chance for us, because the visitors come, we're able to have outreach programs, us being Fish and Wildlife, and it's, we need Midway Phoenix, and Midway Phoenix needs us, so it's a nice experiment and partnership that we have going on. Just that Midway Atoll is one of those few places on Earth that you visit, and you try to bring somebody into that bubble, you're, you come to visit and you want someone else to come visit you or you want to try and bring someone into that bubble that you have of the place but you truly can't experience the magic until you come here. We have green clouds, the reflection of the lagoon reflects on the clouds and the seabirds that flutter over it and that's something that not many places can say.